Felix, stay down. Felix, down. Good boy. Good boy. Tucker, come. Oh, I know, Maggie. I know. I know you want to run without the leash. I know you want to run without the leash, girlfriend. Hello, Tucker. Good job, guys. Good boy, Curl. Good boy, Felix. Good girl, Lucy. Good boy, um, Zach. Good boy, Revy. Yeah, stay down, buddy. Stay down. Oh, 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 Maggie, Maggie. Shh. Okay, let's let's walk, Maggie. Let's walk. Come on, Maggie. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Let's walk. Maggie's got too much energy for a leash. Hey, Mags. Yeah, Mags. Like that's right. Good girl, Maggie. Good job, guys. Yeah, so they are pretty good. They're not one of those bunches that run away from me or, you know, run halfway across the field. Or if they do, they pretty much run back right away. So I am not too worried about this crew and it is an enclosed park. And I do have a GPS system on them and you might be wondering oh why does she have a GPS system on them because it's a fully enclosed park yes super interesting question because apparently I thought I was like so safe bringing dogs here because it's double gated uh, but this one time I had a relatively small dog it was a little oh sorry Maggie it was a little smaller than Jasper, probably the size of uh, uh, Lucy here, but with slightly longer legs and slightly skinnier. But the owners didn't tell me this, but she's a bolter. So any chance she gets when she's not with her owner, she bolts. Which is fine, because I mean, I'm in a fully enclosed park, double gated, right? Um, yeah, until some really irresponsible owner decides to let her dog I believe into the park so this dog managed to get out of get into the first gate or sorry we were inside the park yeah let me tell this pro this story properly so there's a group of us there was a dog with a diaper on when we got in and I noticed two or three of my dogs like whoop went right to it and then, so I'm trying to peel my dog away because I found out that the dog was in heat. And yeah, yeah, I've learned not to bring dogs in heat um, to a dog park because that is just totally asking for trouble. But um, yeah, so this dog was in heat. So my dogs were after it. So were some other dogs. So I'm trying to peel, I think it was Jasper and Max. I'm trying to peel them away from this dog. Meantime, this other dog bolts to the gate gets through the first gate and then this irresponsible owner um, decides to let my dog out along with her dog. Um, so ridiculous. And so I dropped the dog, like I dropped Jasper and Max ran for the dog and the dog just bolted and honestly never stopped. Um, there were a few people that tried to follow it and then when it ran back towards me, I thought, oh, she's coming back to me. Nope, nope, she did a 45 and ran down the next street. And long story short, I could not keep up with her even though this very, very kind stranger offered me a ride um, to chase her down because she had a GPS on. She crossed 97th Street, like this was so scary. And luckily no cars were there. I was right there with her, but she just would not come to me and we were in some, some residential and anyways and then 
in the process of me running and stuff and I thought I had lost my phone so I didn't have my phone it was just a really it was one of those days where I thought I should not have gotten up today um, yeah and anyways what happened what ended up happening was I finally did get my phone um, it was apparent it I had dropped it in the vehicle that tried to help me um, and then it slid under her car seat like under yeah under the passengers car seat and uh, when I finally got it back I think it was afternoon evening um, the dog was at some residential address just at one spot so I knew it it had been caught by someone or something so I figured maybe they brought her home to try and think uh oh Maggie you're stuck to try and figure out some things but apparently what had happened was the police saw the dog and they were able to capture her I think usually they they, they actually send like two or three vehicles to the area to block it off and stuff because that's the only way you can catch like a running animal because um, you can't with one person running in one direction so yeah anyways that was so scary um, but yeah so I do put GPS trackers on them it doesn't matter if we're going to this park because I just don't know what crazy situations will show up job guys Jasper stay down sorry Maggie Maggie still wants to play with a stick and she's starting to want to drag me around hey Megs yeah Oh, look at all those dogs. Oh, there's quite a few small ones tonight, actually. Some really cute ones. Good boy, Tucker. Tucker just kind of does his own thing. Hey, Tucker. Yeah, good job, buddy. And then there's other ones that are just, you know, seeking... Um, human attention like those guys mooching for attention they're like give us love we don't get enough at home because there's only one human and there's eight of us good boy Felix all right guys <laughs> These two like to bug each other. It's kind of funny. They're the only two mate females in the group. Oh, I know. It's a ball. It's a ball. Come on. Let's go this way, bud. Mags, let's go this way. Come on, Maggie. Let's go away from the ball. Maggie, let's go. Go get the stick, Maggie. Go get the stick that, um, yeah, that Revy has. Go get the stick. There. Go get Revy's stick. Yeah, I kind of feel like that guy, um, who's it? Drew or Crew or Gru? Uh, from minions you know and then he's got all these little minions following behind him yep that's what I feel like today especially with these little dogs <laughs> and there's like an army of them so they're my little minions good job guys yeah so we're just gonna do some laps get some water in between, let them play and meet other dogs and humans, and just get some fresh air before, before dinner time and bedtime.